Howdy. My name is Larry Glover, and I actually don't know what I'm going to share in this video, but I know there's something moving in me that wants to find voice. And um, I'm standing in an aspen grove in northern New Mexico here, and it's like a little aspen nursery in this little area that I'm standing in. And it is just utterly glorious as the sunlight streams in. And the really interesting thing that strikes me about aspens and that gives me hope for the world during this time of great social disruption. Because the aspens offer us as humanity a different story. So there came a time on the planet roughly 2,000 years ago when the Bible as we came to know it, when that story began to come into prominence among a group of nomads, now known as, you know, the Israelites and the Jewish nation. And that story with Jehovah God, as I came to know it in fundamentalist Christianity, is a story of separation, where God is separate from man, Man is superior to nature and therefore also superior to f the feminine, to women. That story is the Jehovah wound. It is that story that feeds the sense that we're never enough and never can be enough. It's a story of shame for being human, for carrying the the human body as a vehicle that might send you into hell for an eternity by a loving, vengeful God who is schizophrenic and sociopathic. It's time to name it for what it is. Nature, all of nature, and the aspens as an image, a mythic image of the tree of life, remind us that there is one root to all of life. For this aspen grove that I'm standing in the midst of is one organism. It's a single body expressed as many trees coming off of one root. All of life comes off the tree of life, the one root. All of humanity comes off the one root. You and I, no matter color of skin, no matter faith, no matter country of origin, feed and are nurtured by the one root of life. It's time that we tell the story in you and remember the source of our being, the source of our innate belonging, the source of our innate worthiness. For truly, what we do unto others, we do unto ourselves. And there's no better example of that than what is happening now in the Middle East. So remember, go wild, stay wild, be wild. Mother Earth is. And she is the womb of our birthing. She is the womb of our nurturance. And the sooner we begin to acknowledge this story of belonging and worthiness and oneness, the sooner we can begin to celebrate the diversity of who we are too. I love you. This is Larry Glover, wildresiliency.com. Wonder if I can <laughs> shut this.